Okay, guys, here we go. If you come back over here, sorry it took me a while to remember where this last one was, but I figured I'd show you that musical Easter egg anyways, kind of while we were waiting for me to remember. So if you come on over here, come over to which one is, it? I think this is generator C, I think. If you come over here and you kind of crouch down, you can see it in there a little bit. Sniper scope makes it a little easier. Shoot the final one right there. Ta-da! Okay, so I want to say this is the one. Now if we come over here, look in the furnace. Ta-da! The beauty of Treyarch. Got the song Beauty of Annihilation. You get the Annihilator here on this map. Pretty cool little Easter egg they put in. Next thing you can do is, well, I'll go ahead and leave that because I don't know quite how long it's going to take. Now this thing is pretty stinking powerful. And in order to get more ammo for it, you have to get kills. You gotta kill zombies in order to get any kind of additional points or uh, any kind of charge on the weapon itself. But for right now, just because I'll have to hit the box and get monkeys in order to do the next Easter egg thing, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of sit up here and get my kills with this KN44, the Anointed Avenger. And see, right there, I just got another charge. Usually it'll pop up and kind of tell you, hey, you got an Annihilator. Use it every time that you charge it a little bit. So that is kind of a nice little feature that they tell you. You can also see it down in the bottom, how it's uh, telling me that I've got all green, that I got a full charge in that little circle. At least I'm fairly certain that is the full charge. We'll see though, because I'm probably not going to use it a whole lot. Boy, I'm going to have to go get some perks. I might end up double pack or repacking this thing. It's no longer a double pack a punch, it's repacked. Hey, look at that. Let's go ahead, let's run over here. Let's grab this thing, because I'm fairly certain this is going to be the next gun that I'm close to getting the hex camo on. I think we've got, I'm at three guns with the hex camo now. I should just start putting on them the highest camo I've got. Every time that I uh, level it up. Boy, this thing fires fast. <laughs> Hammer away, spirits. Holy crap. I don't know where the best place to be running these guys is. Fairly certain here is probably not it, but... Back here is probably my better option. Oh yeah, probably going to die here. And I'll go ahead and teleport here.
Well, I spit to not give me anything. That's actually pretty nice, though. Hey, survived another round. Hey, I totally forgot that I had the other one, but this one's actually a pretty nice one here. Hmm, I don't have any money. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of stand here in the back for this. Keep this, uh, my, uh, well, what's it called? Gobble gum there from going off. I don't want to waste that one if totally an easy kill. Because that one is extremely valuable because it'll cause if any zombies hit you it'll burst them into flame and kill them kind of keeps you alive a little bit longer really nice feature okay doing pretty good here not my greatest survivals but definitely better than usual Especially the last couple of times I've been doing a bunch of like first room survivals trying to get that RK5 hex camo. I'm really happy that I finally got it. Because it meant I could move on to other guns. Right now I'm going for uh, getting the hex camo on all of the guns that are on the walls. Just because I can consistently control whether or not I get them as opposed to the box weapons i'm gonna have to just oh holy crap that means i got a long time of using this thing so i just got the 250 kill thing which means oh good grief That means I got another, oh no, <laughs> 500 and some odd kills to get, ugh. Okay, I got the last guy here. I might go try to hit the box, see if I can get my uh, monkeys so I can do the next little Easter egg thing for you guys we'll see though that or I might just try to get the box out of this spot no Holy cow. And I might actually have enough money to go ahead and do this. So what you want to do is you get the monkey bomb, grab it, throw it in here, and teleport with it in the teleporter. And you'll notice over here, see how that light's on now? And hey. I'm more grabbing it. I don't really need it. Uh, well, it's not very good. Does it change wall weapon? That'd be too awesome. Might switch out my anointed avenger. A weevil. That's pretty good. I haven't used the weevil at all yet, so... Okay, gonna come on over here. Do the same thing. Throw it down. And teleport with it. And let's see here.
Hey, another fire sale. Even though I don't really need it. Oh, so do I. Oh, I can't do it. I'll run over here and I'll get the very last one. Ah, oh, I don't really need it. Cause this should be the last one that I haven't done yet. You can hear it, it kind of makes a different noise telling you that, hey, teleport, teleport. And now that this thing's done, you can watch it. I don't know where the laser's gonna come from. Hit that, laser goes over there, and there is a hidden perk. Just gonna grab this thing. <laughs> and right here, you can see I got Deadshot Daiquiri. And that was that uh, perk kind of screwed me right there in particular but oh well did its job be awesome if it was a dog ground but it won't really matter I got my annihilator to kind of get me out of any sticky situations Might be able to get a max ammo, get lucky here. Holy crap. Can I get a million dollars? That'd be way too lucky. I feel like you should be able to change those lights too. I feel like there's going to be something to do with that. got the best for up a level that is not what I wanted to do but Don I already got that that is not what I want to see okay I got more ammo Yeah, surviving on this map, I think. Surviving pretty easy solo, but definitely you can do a whole lot more if you got a group of guys you can kind of explore. Night Defender. I like that title. kill quite a few there the speeds up your life Too much spice for taste. okay and I'll have to do a bunch of teleporting in order to get the other perks Because you do, you get free perks from teleporting, which is kind of an awesome little feature. Okay, survived another round. See if maybe I can get double tap. Or mule kick, either one. 